They are big, heavy, and on Kandahar Airfield in southern Afghanistan, thousands of these metal shipping containers, stacked three stories high, dominate the landscape. And someone has to account for them. Data management, Mass on Fisher. Master Sergeant Arthur Fisher and Major Todd McKay are members of the 311th Expeditionary Sustainment Command, an Army Reserve unit based in West Los Angeles. Well, that was the one MERS container showed up and these two tech containers. Uh -huh. Their mission is to manage the containers throughout Afghanistan while at the same time show an overall reduction in their numbers. Considering that U.S. forces will be out of Afghanistan by the end of 2014. Right now there's right around 100,000 containers within Afghanistan. So our goal is to tr hopefully try to reduce that by be between 10 and 20,000 um, before we go. So basically by the end of about September. These containers used to ship millions of tons of war equipment here. The time has come to take it all home. The majority of the containers that we do have, uh, those that are seaworthy, of course, those will be used as retrograde uh, containers. The containers that we have here that are non-seaworthy, uh, those are going to be the containers that we use basically for disposition, disposal, things like that. And while many may see these hulking boxes as uninspiring, there are possibilities within these metal structures. We're partnering with DLADS, who is basically, what they're going to do is sell them for scrap. So, which, which is a win-win for us because what happens with that is, is they we're able to reduce containers, but also we're able to sell them to, uh, to people here in Afghanistan. So what they're able to do is use those for houses, shops, those kinds of things. Okay, I'm sending them to you right now. Members of the 311th are assured that once their mission is complete here at Kandahar Airfield, that many of these containers will have already made it back to the States. Reporting from Kandahar Airfield, I'm Master Sergeant Dave Thompson.